Hello there, Cancers. Welcome to your weekly reading. Um, without further ado, let me just relay the image that I saw while I was shuffling the cards for you, and then we'll go into your reading for this week. Um, I saw this person. Um, it, it's a huge catapult. So it's like a human catapult. And it's a guy. He's catapulted into the air, and he's like flailing and screaming and very, 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 very scared. Like he's not really sure what's going to happen and where he's going to land and what's going to happen when he lands. So he's he's very scared. And then I see him landing into this giant balloon of air. And it cushions his fall to the point where it's a very, very soft landing. So it's in juxtaposition to this, you know, massive catapult being um, being thrust out into the air with a lot of force and with a lot of velocity and then landing in into this really soft cushiony bubble of protection where he you know lands with a very soft thud and um what i'm feeling with this imagery is um you know it seems as if this entire year has been a series of events for you where things were progressing very very quickly and um, I feel like the, the series of events happen in succession as well, in a very swift, quick, and such a rapid pace that you were almost like just pulled along, okay? And you felt almost like things were outside of your control. Things were happening to you rather than you being able to actively plan it or control it or, you know, um, methodically creating a timeline for yourself it, it just felt like external forces actors other people were just pulling you along so it might have been a very very exciting year for you guys i see like a lot of emotional highs but it was also a very eventful year where every day there's an event so as we near the end of this year you're looking back at everything that has happened to you and you're just like I can't believe what a crazy year it has been and I can't believe everything that happened in such a short time frame and so moving forward I feel like many of you will forever remember this year this has been a very life-changing year for many of you and this has been a year full of spectacle and events and just a lot of things were kind of thrust upon you good or bad but nevertheless, you came out okay. You are in, uh, in at a point where you are going to hit that soft landing pad, okay? And I feel like it's going to be a lot smoother, a lot more predictable moving forward. Um, I'm seeing a scene as well at the airport, and I feel like you're in the terminal. You're watching somebody somebody has already gotten on a plane and they're the plane is taking off so you're watching this plane and you're watching all the people boarding and amongst the people is one person that is quite significant to you and the plane is um taking off and it has taken off and then disappeared into this the sky and it, it kind of like right before it disappears there's this little sparkle so i feel like there is a bitter sweetness um feeling associated with this um, I feel like for many of you there is an imagery here of um, somebody the one that got away the one that got away away we all have one person in our lives where we feel like you know if I had done things differently if circumstances were different if the situation was different or if you know things have been done differently I wonder how it would have turned out so I feel like there is a sense of regret about letting the other person slip away, thinking about the other person, wondering what they're up to, wondering what's going on with them, and wondering if you will ever see them again. And um, I feel for some of you, there is an air sign here. So this is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. This person shows up here as a, um, the King of Swords. And... I almost feel like there is a want or a need to to connect with this person and and for some of you um, this is the one that got away from a past relationship 
okay so I, I feel like you want to reach out you want to know if this person is okay and you know that they're gonna be okay they're very intelligent they are um, they're problem solvers you know they don't get bogged down with life and and, and 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 circumstances they're not ones to sit there and soak in remorse or sorrow or self-pity they get back up and they strategize and they get themselves out of situations that they don't want to be in they are a survivor and I feel like you know this about them and you know that no matter where they go no matter what happens they're going to be okay but there's a sense of bittersweetness about the departure where you wish that you know they could still be with you so that's for those who are dealing with an air sign from the past that you feel um, I should have put in more work I should have done things differently. Um, if the situation had been different, I wonder how things would have uh, panned out between the two of us. And then some of you are dealing with this person in the present moment. And this is someone I feel like they're self-made. They have um, done a lot for themselves in terms of, you know, their career, their um, professional development, their life, their uh, financial future. They could also be self-employed for many of you who are dealing with this. And um, they're a great source of inspiration, counsel, and insights. So I feel like you you are with the this person right now, or you're interacting with them. And I feel like they have um, taken you know great strides to fix their life, to fix things, and to get themselves to the point where they are um, just in a really good space. And I feel like you're going to be hearing from this person. If it's the person from your past, I don't see that. I, I see you wanting to connect with them or reconnect with them. But if it's somebody you're dealing with in the present moment, there's going to be heavy communication, travel plans, talks about travel, talks about, you know, um, talks as well about the direction of the relationship. But I, I heavily see like uh, travel plans being arranged between you and this person. They're coming in, giving you a lot of information. Do you want to do this? This is how much it's going to cost. Do you want to do that? And do you want to do such and such? So I feel like it's an extensive travel thing that you are planning with this person. Um, they bring you a lot of good news. They bring you a lot of humor. They bring as well just a very buoyant energy. So I feel like you 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 feel really lighthearted when you're around this person. And because they're a planner, they're very proactive, they take initiative and they plan everything down to the T, it alleviates a lot of burdens on you. And I feel like that's why you really like hanging out with this person because you never have to worry when you're with them. Um, and even if it's somebody from the past, I feel like, you know, the, the same energy applies. You never have to worry about them. You never have to worry about them being unfaithful. You never have to worry about them being irresponsible or reckless. They were very reliable. And I feel a, a big, um, many of you, you miss that. Okay. You, you, you miss like having somebody who's very stable, very steady, very trustworthy and reliable. And so you miss that type of a relationship where you don't have to worry so the other message that I am picking up here is um, I do feel you know that it's still going to be a busy week and things will stabilize when we get into the January time frame so right now there's still a lot to do a lot of communication to be had and a lot of stuff that needs to be wrapped up I'm also feeling for many of you, there are, you know, lots of financial um, increases coming into the picture. So this could be, you know, getting a bonus, getting a pay increase, getting something that you've worked really hard for and getting acknowledgement for it in terms of monetary gain. So we have here the financial windfall card. This is the six of pentacles, getting recognition for the work that you put in, okay? And usually it's money coming through from a financial institution, but what I'm seeing in this card is it's almost like a boss giving you a bonus, giving you some type of a royalty check, giving you some commission check as well. And I feel like it's really going to help you if you are planning to travel, you're using that bonus in order to travel. Um, so things look really good. I see a lot of movement happening with this uh, spread as well. 
And I, I just feel like, you know, whatever conflict that you've been dealing with, especially with coworkers, um, bosses, higher ups, um, even people, you know, um, stakeholders or even investors or even clients uh, or even just the general public overall. If you are somebody that works in the limelight and you're um, giving information or dis, um, like taking apart information so that you can um, explain the information to a, um, a lay audience, for example, I feel like you have faced a lot of opposition in the past where they're not very receptive to your ideas. And I feel like if that has been the case, more people will come in in support of your idea so that you can implement projects so you can move things along. Okay, so if there has been a lot of uh, backlash, if there has been situations where um, it was hard to, it was hard to advocate for a certain course of action because the people were resisting it. I feel like there's going to be this, um, this, this, I'm hearing like breakage, but not in a bad way. It, it's, it's almost like this turning point, turning point where the people that might have been you know resistant they're breaking away from it and they're focusing their energies on something else and then the people that are for it will remain and to move the project along for you and to move the situation along in the manner that you'd hope so i, I definitely feel like you know things smoothing themselves out and things automatically just resolving themselves without very little intervention from your end okay so it's going to be a safe landing I'm also seeing as well, uh, you're sending somebody out to scope a new territory. So I'm seeing like um, for advertisers or like product endorsers or something like that. Or if you are trying to expand into a new market, if you're trying to expand uh, to reach out into a different demographic, for example, um, somebody is sending out a scout to scope out the territory. And then this person is coming back, giving you the green light. They're telling you, yeah, it's gonna be fine. Here's how we gotta do it. And it's going to be, you know, a safe landing. You definitely can expand into that market. You definitely can implement that project or that program in that area. I see for many of you, this could be overseas. Um, scouting out a new market overseas for those in marketing or advertisement or even in um, community development. And then I also see um, scouting out an area that is local and to implement some project to even resurrect uh, maybe like a, a building project as well, like a construction project. So those elements are coming through. So expansion looks very, very good for this um, week in general because I feel like you're going to get positive feedback and you're going to get like um, the green light and the okay to start something. Um, there has been some back and forth here, I feel, in regards to working with uh, colleagues, co-workers, and working with all the constituents, all the members that are involved in, in, in building something. Okay, we have here the Three of Pentacles, and this is collaborating with people, sharing ideas, sharing best practices, sharing our experiences. and. What is happening here is I feel like there is a situation where uh, people put their their best foot forward. OK, so they they talked about only all the good things and um, everything's just seem really, really um, positive. And I feel like they were really neglecting all the pitfalls and all the other unintended consequences so everyone was like hyping things up or you know putting on this this brave face that everything's going to be fine or only focusing on or emphasizing the positive attributes and there were the situation is far from from perfect there are things coming into the picture for this week where you feel like wait a minute that's that's not the reality we need to look at the situation holistically and so you might be the, the one that, you know, calls people out on this and you can say like, wait a minute, that's not, you know, what I'm experiencing. I'm experiencing a little bit of backlash. I'm experiencing 
um, all of these unintended consequences as a result of this endeavor. And here is my experience. And I feel like no one is really censoring you because it's sort of like that elephant in the room that no one wants to talk about. But you're stepping up and you are bringing this to everyone's attention. And because you are such a strong advocate for it, you come out with a lot of passion, with a lot of like, these are the problems, but I'm not going to dwell too much on the problems. Here are my proposed solutions. And I feel like because you're doing that, it's allowing a situation where people are going back to the drawing board to strategize, to plan something and to find a solution to fix it or to at least, you know, take that into account, take everything that you said into account when they implement it so that the project can be a lot better. Okay, so I, I'm seeing you voicing. Um, it's like speaking out for the people that can't really speak out, advocating from a different perspective. And it's not a popular vantage point or it's not a popular thing to do in this environment that you're in, but you feel like it needs to be addressed and you feel like it needs to be taken into account. We can't gloss over these issues. They need to be thought about. So because of that, you are really voicing your opinion and you're speaking from the pulpit with a lot of passion, with a lot of like, uh, let's find the solution. Let's not gloss over these problems. Let's just focus on them so we can find the solution so that we can, you know, uh, be real about this. So I, I definitely feel that it's, um, it, it's a space where you might not initially get the support that you're hoping for, but I feel like the transition will allow you to kind of um, win over adversaries, win over opponents, and to be able to then retweak or redo something that can benefit all, okay? Um, so the, the energy looks really good, and I, I almost feel like... I almost feel feels to me like it took a lot of courage. It took a lot of courage from your end to just speak up. And um, you guys are not usually a um, an aggressive sign. I, I don't see Cancerian people are, are aggressive. If anything, you're you guys are great listeners. You can you know go around and do community needs assessment and and. Um, talk to people and t ask them, you know, how do you think this can be done differently? Or what are some of the challenges that you have faced? And so you, you collect, collect anecdotes, you can collect uh, stories, you collect all of these things. And then it's usually somebody else that advocates, but I feel like you're playing the advocate because you have seen enough, you have seen a lot as well, and you're trying to find solutions. And you feel like, if everyone is glossing over these problems, then we're never going to get to the end of it. And everything would be just very false. So I feel like you're, you're up there, you know, in the spotlight, putting yourself out there because you really believe in the things that you're doing. Um, you will sail away from all of these problems without a scratch. Okay. You will come out unscathed and you will be in a, um, it's like I see you blooming. It's sort of like this was the one thing that you dreaded. But after having done it, it didn't feel so bad. I think it was two weeks ago that I mentioned, you know, um, fighting the dragon, right? Like without armor, coming in unprepared. So I feel like this is a continuation of that energy where something seemed really, really, really scary. But once it's tackled and done and over with, you kind of sit back, kick up your feet, and you have this sense of overwhelming satisfaction within you. Like, I did it. I didn't think I could do it, but I did it, and I can do it again, if need be. So there's this overwhelming sense of pride and just uh, satisfaction with everything that has happened to you for this year, everything that has happened since the March time frame or even in the past three months. And it's led to this point where you feel very, very complete and you feel so proud of the work that you have done. Okay. Um, so like I said, it's still going to be a little bit of a, a busy week 
So it requires us to, you know, not rest on our laurels and, and still get up and get things done and get things moving. So I definitely see lots of movement still needing to be done. Lots of things that needs to be fixed. Um, I see many of you needing to really declutter your home environment, okay? Uh, vacuuming, dusting, getting rid of junk, um, preparing for the, the rains. We are heading into the winter. So I don't know if you're planning to host a party, have people come over, or planning to visit mom and dad, and you feel like every time you go visit them, there are a lot of things that they need help with around the house. It's because, you know, they might be older and um, they might not know who to call. So you have to do all of these arrangements for them. So while you you are, you know, happy to see them, it just seems like it's never time for, for you to just be. You have to help them with everything. And I feel like, you know, it's going to happen no matter what. You're going to go see them and you're still going to do the work. But I, I feel like you're kind of apprehensive about that. I see a lot of people needing to do like minor repair on the house, especially the roof area and the gutters. Um, maybe repairing the roof, patching up some holes, cleaning out the gutters so that the um, it doesn't get clogged up. And um, um, maybe weatherproofing, like um, adding a second layer, like insulation or something like that. Um, you might be in a place with extreme weather, so it could be extremely hot or extremely cold where there is snow. So you might have to do some insulation with the, the house. Um, I'm also feeling as well, um, there are opportunities for you guys um, to, you know, kind of be self-employed. Uh, there are talks between you and another person, somebody bringing in a lot of good ideas, possibly an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, wanting to start a business with you, wanting to enter a partnership with you, um, and wanting, and they're, they're giving you some ideas. And I feel like it would be in your best interest to not jump immediately into this, take care of whatever it is that you need to take care of, draw out a game plan for yourself before you excitedly pursue this, okay? Because I feel like you trust them and, and they are definitely trustworthy. You trust them. But I feel like your vision is not yet in alignment with their vision. So there needs to be a lot more conversations, a lot more things that needs to be hashed out before you can both move forward and have a clear sense of who's doing what, what is this going to look like, and when do we start, and what are the responsibilities, okay? So having clearly defined roles and responsibilities, I feel, would be uh, quite crucial for you, okay? So, Cancers, I hope this reading is helpful for you guys, and I will see you guys soon. Take care.